who goes there? Well, this is Dan and Kathy One Row on another Missionary Adventures. Here we are at an old DDR, East German border gate or border tower. There were 900 of these that, that lined the 1,000 mile border from the Baltic Sea all the way down to Czechoslovakia. What's really interesting about this particular town called Modlerouth, or something like that, is that this town, the little creek, which was the boundary between these two states in Germany, the creek is only about two feet wide, and that became the border between East and West Germany, dividing this little tiny village here. Things like this were set up, towers like this were set up to separate people. So we just thought it would be interesting to come to this place, show you this area of Germany, and encourage you, would you still pray for this wonderful nation, that God would do an amazing work. He's brought the physical boundaries down. Now let's pray that God brings the spiritual boundaries down between denominations and Christians. Jesus said in John chapter 17, I pray that they would be one as we are one so that the world would know that you sent me. So now that the physical boundaries are down, we're going to pray that God brings unity among the body of Christ here in Germany so that revival will come to Germany, so the world will see Jesus in the German church, and that Germany will be a lighthouse to the rest of Europe and the world. Amen? God bless you. Thanks for joining us on another Dan and Kathy's Missionary Adventures. Make sure you subscribe to that button below. We love you. Bye-bye. So it's amazing that such a little thing like this creek here is what kept people apart. This became the political boundary between East and West Germany in this area of the country. And uh, I think it's a great spiritual metaphor to not let little things separate you from your brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Amen. So again, until next time, this is Dan and Kathy One Row. Pray for Germany. Pray for us as we take you around the world declaring that Jesus is Lord.